This is a demonstration of how to do the sources and uses of fund statement from Amazon. And I've set up a template. This is looking at the change over 2018. So I have the 2018 income statement numbers abbreviated. And I have abbreviated balance sheet statements. Uh, you need to look at the change in the balance sheet accounts to do the cash flow statement. What we're trying to figure out is why cash at the end of 2017 was $20.5 billion and it rose to $31.75 billion over the course of the year. So in the template, our beginning cash for 2018 was the amount of cash that was in the, uh, in the account at the end of 2017. So if you had $20,522,000,000 on December 31st, 2017, that's approximately what you had in the morning of January 1st, 2018. That's where you started. The ending cash is where you ended up. Uh, when we summarize up the changes, if we take this amount, Add to it the amount of cash flow from operating activities, the amount of cash flow from investing activities, and the cash flow from uh, financing activities. That ought to come up to the ending cash balance that matches $31,750. All right, so I hope I don't make a mistake. I do all the time, but uh, the template ought to fix it, or ought to minimize the problem. All right, you start out with the net income from last year, or from 2018, and then you start adding back non-cash charges. The only one we're showing is depreciation. Now you add that back because this net income number stated in here of $10.073 billion they actually had higher cash flow from that because to get to the net income you subtracted this non-cash expense depreciation. You also had some changes in these balance sheet accounts that affected the cash flow. For instance, accounts receivable went from 12,526 to 15,869 during the course of the year. And what that means is that you ended up buying, or Amazon bought, more accounts receivable than they collected. Okay, so, or that they paid. Accounts receivable is the amount of money you lent to your customers to buy your stuff. If you were lending them $12.5 billion at the end of 2017, and are lending them $15.8 billion at the end of 2018, then you have lent them an additional $3 billion in change. That's a negative cash flow. So similarly, you had $16 billion in inventory. Now you have $17 billion in inventory. That's a negative cash flow. All right, the easiest way to do this in the template, though, if it's an asset, anytime an asset goes up, it's negative. Anytime an asset goes down, it's positive. If we took the accounts receivable from last year and subtract the accounts receivable from this year, it'll automatically get the sign correct for us. All right, and then since these are in order, I can just copy it down. Anytime an asset goes up, it's a negative cash flow. An asset goes down. It's positive cash flow because you sold it. Liabilities work the opposite direction. So if we spin down here to the current liabilities, accounts payable went from 34.6 to 38.1. That's a positive cash flow. So with liabilities, simply take this year's column and subtract last year's column. Okay, so accounts payable and the other accounts that are in there are accrued expenses and unearned revenue. Alright, so those are the only ones that count this year. And the cash flow from operating activities 
that this piece of crap will quit showing. I hate, I hate to excel sometimes because it keeps adding on stuff I don't want it to add on. That's your cash flow from operating activities. <coughs> cash flow from investing activities is buying and or selling long-term assets. So the first one we had is land and buildings. Since it's an asset, I'm going to subtract this year from last year. But I can already tell I'm looking at that, and I see that land and buildings went from about $24 billion to about $32 billion, so it's going to be close to $8 billion spent on that stuff so I can check my number and make sure that it's right. All right, so it should be a negative approximately eight. And then the equipment, other assets, construction and process. The short-term investments, short-term investments is a current asset, but it's not really used in the operations. So short-term investments are an investing activity. All right, we can see short-term investments drop from 10.4 billion to 9.5 billion. That's about a billion dollar decrease in the short-term investment, which means it's a increase in cash. And then the other non-current assets, which I don't know what they are, I'd have to go look. But if it's an asset and it went up, it's a negative cash flow. And then that means that I have $26 billion in operating, $25 billion in uh, investing. Go down here to the long-term debt. Since long-term debt's a liability, anytime a long-term liability goes up, it's a positive number. If it goes down, it means I paid it off. All right, so... Other long-term liabilities, which is the number right up underneath there. So long-term liabilities went, long-term debt went down, but long-term liabilities went up by close to six, or a little, right around six billion dollars. Those other long-term liabilities, by the way, are leases. Uh, common stock and paid-in capital. this year minus last year that's 5.4 billion and that's actually employees cashing in stock options treasury stock there was actually no change so we'll see a zero there and other equity is complicated so we will leave that alone so from financing activities, they added $10.7 billion, mainly from additional leases. That's how they fund, fund, their, uh, fund their stuff. And the common stock options cashed in are issued to the employees. If I sum all of this, That should be the ending cash account, $31,750,000,000. And there it is over there, so I must have done it right. All right. Don't be discouraged that you do these and, and get them wrong. About a third of the time when I do one of these, I'll add something backwards and get a wrong answer. It's, it's pretty tedious to go through there and figure out what you did wrong, but, you know, it, it just happens to the best of us. All right, but that's the statement of cash flows for 2018 for Amazon.